Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make shrimp ceviche, but we're going to do it in two steps. So the first step is going to be how we're going to go ahead and cook the shrimp. And the ingredients are, it's going to be four pounds of shrimp, four pounds of the limes, and some salt. Okay, so let's get started. So this is four pounds of shrimp. I have another plate to start taking off the shell. And then on this, the shrimp, and take the vein off, we're going to put it here. And this is where we're going to go ahead and cook our ceviche. Now off the shrimp. This is four pounds of shrimp again. And now I'm going to show you how to clean the shrimp. So to clean the shrimp, you're going to need some napkins, your knife. And then, so what I like to do, I like to devein my shrimp from the top. And I just grab And I like to devein the shrimp from the bottom. Okay, and just kind of grab it, put on the napkin. There we go. Put it in your tub. So again, you cut the bottom. You take the little vein. Okay, you take, the, cut the top. You take this off. Put it in there. So after we put them in there, we're gonna give them a little rinse just so we can clean, get the shrimp really clean. So you're gonna do them for all. Cut the bottom thing off okay cut the top it's right there you can wipe it on the napkin so again bottom take it off the top take it off now this is the reason why I have the napkin because if there's some stuff in the knife I can just wipe it off and you just hold it up, wipe it off. So if you want to avoid this step and not have to clean the shrimp, you can always buy them at the store already deveined. And this is the way I like to get my shrimp. Now that we have deveined and cleaned the shrimp, we're going to go ahead and rinse them off before we we add the lemon so we can let them cook. Um, I like to get my shrimp from Cardenas. I do get it for about $3.99, which is a good price. Four pounds would be about $16. Um, El Toro Market also has the good shrimp. Um, I've seen it go as low as $2.99 a pound to $3.99 a pound, uh, which is still good. Okay, so we just want to go ahead and make sure that we rinse the shrimp in cold water. Okay, so what I did, I just made sure to wash the tupper that I'm going to be using for the shrimp. So as you can see, the shrimp is nice and clean now. So these are the, lim the limes we're going to use to cook the shrimp. I'm using four pounds of shrimp, so that means I need four pounds of limes. So we're looking at about 60 limes equals four pounds. Okay, and just make sure when you're choosing your limes to get the ones that are shiny and the ones that have like a nice soft texture on the top, that way um, they're nice, nice and fresh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Put this bowl with the limes in the microwave for 20 seconds just so we can get the juice running and we can get as much juice as we can from these limes. Teaspoons of salt. Okay, so we added the salt. This is the um, tool that I use for the limes. Basically, I just cut the lime in half, put it in here, you squeeze it. And there we go. This was four pounds of limes. It's about 60, 60 of the little limes, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get our strainer because we don't want to go. We make sure that we don't get any seeds in our ceviche. And I'm just kind of mix it. We're going to need 10 Roma tomatoes, avocado, one onion, we're going to need two pounds of the limes, this is about 30 limes, some tostadas, we're going to need two cilantro, two of these, we're going to need four cucumbers and, and four jalapenos. The shrimp out of the refrigerator. 
So the next step is we're gonna drain it because this juice, this lime juice, we don't need, okay? So the juice is gone, I dumped it. And then here is the shrimp. So what I do, okay. I take So the shrimp, you're gonna cut it twice. So one and two. So that each shrimp, you should get three pieces. Okay, cut it one and two. So that should give you three pieces. Okay, so you get the shrimp. One, two, again, three pieces. We're gonna do this for all of it. For all of it. So here's the shrimp. We already went ahead and cut it. So each shrimp should be into three pieces. Now we're gonna go ahead and add all the. I'm gonna be using ten Roma tomatoes. So you're gonna take your Roma tomato. I'm gonna cut it here. This part you're gonna throw it away. Okay. I'm gonna cut it in slices. You're gonna cut it this way. You're gonna turn it around, and now you're gonna cut it this way. Okay. Again, take your little slice, cut it this way, turn it around, cut it this way. Take another slice, this way, this way. Slice. You want to go ahead and cut it this way not all the way to the end but almost more than half okay okay so as you guys can see I didn't cut it all the way okay and then you're gonna cut it this way. One, two, and three. Okay. And then you just go like this. Try to put your try to put your knuckles like this so that way when you cut it, you don't cut your flesh. Okay. jalapenos and two of them I take the seeds off okay and I leave the seeds on the other two so it's not so spicy pieces on there okay so take it and cut it in little sticks okay together to make sure they're nice and tiny. I'm gonna put in the whole thing now. Okay, so first we're gonna cut this off. And I like to roll the cilantro.
So we're going to use four cucumbers. We're starting off with the end. Cut the end. And now we're going to go ahead and peel the cucumber. So we're going to cut the cucumber in three pieces, so it's one, two, okay? Take this part, stand it up, we're going to cut down, okay? Turn it around, and you cut this way. So that gives you little sticks. So now, with these, put them together. And cut. Okay, there you have little tiny pieces. So I'm okay. gonna put the cucumber. So we're gonna do four carrots mm -hmm. and I like to cut the ends. Yeah. Cut the ends. Because the ends are the bad part. We should peel the first layer off, peel the mm -hmm. carrot. Okay, so these are the four carrots we're going to do, so I went ahead and peeled them. And basically you just want to grab the carrot and just peel it down. Okay, that's going to create more ribbons and it's going to make it easier for us to cut. Ribbons that I got from the four carrots that were used. And now what you want to do is just kind of get it together. Make it a little pile. And, chop them and start chopping them up. You're probably thinking why I'm adding carrots to the ceviche, but this gives it a nice color, a nice crunch to your shrimp ceviche. So this is the two pounds of limes that we're going to use. It's about 30 limes. And again, we're going to put them in the microwave for 20 seconds so we can get the juice running and we can get as much juice as we can from these limes. So we're going to go ahead and add some salt. And this is the two pounds of limes. 